Hi, welcome to Flow and Go. So this is a mid-level class, um, nice, fairly short class to get the body moving. We're going to do lots of opening through the side of the body. Props that will be useful for today, maybe a folded up blanket or towel to pop under the knees. So if you know your knees get a bit sensitive or if you've got on a hard floor, then that will certainly help things to be a bit more cosy. And you know me, I always love to use a, a couple of cushions and pillows and this is definitely a class where that would be really handy. So grabbing those if you've got them, a couple of cushions or pillows to support the body, that'll feel really good today. Otherwise, coming to start in a seated position. So if cross legs feels good, you can have the ankles crossed or you can have the ankles one in front of another. Using cushions or pillows to help you feel cosy or you can be kneeling. So whatever seated position feels good for you. And then allowing the eyes to close, drawing up tall through the crown of the head. Maybe the hands come to rest, palm up in a kind of a bowl shape on the lap. Nice position for feeling open to receive. Or if you feel like you need a little bit of grounding today, you can bring the hands palm down onto the knees or thighs. So that's a nice, nice grounding position if today's felt a bit fly away, a bit stressful. So finding a place that can feel comfortable for a few minutes. And taking a moment to check in with yourself today, seeing how you're feeling, what's this day been like? How's your body feeling today? And maybe seeing if you can start allowing the breaths to become a little bit deeper or longer. Maybe the breath comes in through the nose and out through the mouth. Or maybe breathing just through the nose if that feels good for you. So finding a place here with your breath, whatever feels natural, whatever feels comfortable. And seeing if you can bring the breath to access all areas of the body. So not just the upper chest, but also lower chest and belly. Taking a few more deep breaths here, however feels good for you. Getting the body woken up and ready. And on your next inhale, keeping the eyes closed if you want, drawing the shoulders up towards the ears. And as you exhale, allowing them to roll out and down the back. So taking this a few times, nice big circles of the shoulders. Maybe a deep sigh out as they lower down. And then allowing the eyes to open, bringing the right hand to the side of the body and slowly sliding the right hand out across the mat Coming up to open the left hand side of your body, maybe the left hand reaches up as you inhale, either up towards the sky or over towards the right hand side, coming into a nice juicy stretch on the left hand side. So reaching actively with those fingertips wherever you are and seeing if you can keep your left hip grounded so that you really get the benefit of the sideways opening up. On your next inhale, coming back to center and over to the other side. So left hand slides out along the ground, right hand, if you want to, reaching up, maybe it comes over and actively reaching with the fingertips, opening up the right sideways, grounding down through the right hip.
and seeing if you can keep the chest nice and open. So if you notice that the as the arm comes up overhead, maybe the chest starts to close, lifting the arm a little higher, breathing into that space for one more breath. And on your next inhale, rising back up. Coming on to all fours, bringing the feet round to the edge, hands underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips, drawing the spine long, bringing the gaze down in between the hands. And taking a few cat cows from here, so inhaling as the tailbone rises, the spine starts to articulate, bringing the chest forward in between the hands. Maybe the gaze rises slightly. Exhale, pressing through the hands as you tuck and round the spine. So getting a feeling of the spine moving one vertebrae at a time. Opening and expanding as you inhale. And as you exhale this time, option to add a little knee hover if you want. Pressing through the hands, lifting the knees a couple of inches above the ground. And lowering back down. So coming through these cat and cows nice and slowly in whatever way feels good for you. Option as you tuck around to add the little knee hoppers. And finding a way back to center after your last exhale. From here, using the hands to walk back, coming up onto the knees. I'll just turn sideways on so you can see me. So if your knees are feeling a bit sensitive, this is a good time to pop a blanket underneath the knees. Otherwise, bringing the right leg out to the side, coming into gate pose, so another nice side opener here, bringing the right hand palm up against the thigh, so barely kind of touching the thigh, just resting really lightly. Inhaling, reaching up with the left arm, and as we did before, perhaps sliding out with the right arm, maybe the left arm comes over, maybe it stays lifted up. Inhale, coming back up to centre and carefully drawing that right leg back in again, using your hands to support you if that feels good and allowing the left leg to come out to the side. So same on this side, left hand palm up on the thigh, reaching up as you inhale with the right hand and exhale, maybe that left hand slides down the leg, maybe the right arm comes up overhead. Seeing if you can keep the chest open and seeing if you can have as little pressure on that hand as possible. Maybe you can even lift it and give it a little wave around to check you're not pressing too hard. One more breath here. Inhale, back up to centre and drawing that left knee back in. Lowering down into your all fours position, tucking the toes underneath, pressing through the hands, lifting the hips into downward facing dog. So coming into your first downward dog really mindfully here, maybe starting off with a nice generous bend in the knees, allowing the spine to become long first of all. And then if there's space, you can maybe pedal the feet, or perhaps there feels like there's space to straighten the legs. So feeling into what your body needs here, how can you offer it the most amount of space in this pose? On your next inhale, either walking the feet or stepping them up to meet the hands at the top of the mat. Bring the hands to shins, gaze comes down, spine long, halfway lift. Exhale, releasing down into forward fold. Option to take a bend in the knees for this first one if that feels good or letting the arms dangle. Inhale, rolling through the spine, up to stand, arms come out to the side and up overhead, reaching toward the fingers. Exhale, bringing the hands to prayer in front of the heart. Inhale, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, hinging at the hips, folding down, coming into forward fold. Inhale, bringing the hands to shin, spine comes along, halfway left. Exhale, hands by the feet, stepping back into plank. So option here to lower the knees for this first one, or if it feels good, you can keep the knees raised. Either way, I'm tucking the toes, lowering down elbows to the back of the mat, all the way to the floor. 
On your inhale, peeling up through the breastbone as you roll the shoulder blades down the back. Coming into baby cobra or four into a more full cobra if that feels good, if your spine's feeling open. So in baby cobra, you can maybe hover the fingers for a moment. So um, working into the lower back. And exhale, lowering down. On an inhale, pressing through the hands back up onto the knees or back up into full plank. Tucking the toes underneath and coming into downward facing dog. So letting the head be really heavy here. Maybe you take a little nod or a little shake side to side. Seeing if you can lift the hips high. Really grounding down through the fingers, through the knuckles of the fingers. On your next inhale, bringing the right foot forward in between the hands. So maybe coming up onto the left toes to help give you a bit of space. And once you get there, bringing the back foot flat. On your inhale, bending through the front knee, rising up into warrior two. Reaching out through the fingertips, front to the back of the mat, keeping the hips facing to the side of the mat. On your inhale, flipping your front palm, back hand comes to back thigh really lightly, reaching up tall. Exhale, coming into extended side angle, bending the elbow and bringing the left arm up and overhead. Coming through one more time in your dancing warrior. Inhale, flipping the front palm, reversing your warrior, reaching up through the right fingertips. Keeping a bend in that front knee. And then exhale, bending the right arm, putting it onto your right thigh as the left arm reaches up and maybe overhead, keeping the chest nice and open. Inhale, rising back up into warrior two, taking one last breath here, reaching, reaching with the fingertips. And exhale, windmilling the hands either side of the feet, coming onto the back toes, stepping back into plank. So feel free to bring the knees down or if you want to lower from full plank, to the floor, untucking the toes, coming into baby cobra or cobra as you inhale. Exhale, finding your way back into downward facing dog. And taking a couple of breaths here, maybe a deep sigh out through the mouth. <sighs> On your inhale, left foot comes forward in between the hands, grounding the back foot flat, bending into the front knee, rising up, warrior two on this side. So really opening up on this side, getting a feeling for that knee, opening up towards the little toe edge of the front foot. Shoulders are over the hips, and reaching forwards and backwards with the fingertips. On your inhale, flipping the front palm, reversing your warrior, reaching up high. Exhale, bringing elbow to thigh, reaching up with the right hand. Maybe the fingers come up and overhead, palm facing down. So seeing if you can really keep the chest open here. So maybe the hand reaches up to keep the chest open. Maybe there's room for it to come overhead. Inhale, back up to warrior two, coming back through dancing warrior. Inhaling, reversing your warrior, reaching tall. Exhaling into extended side angle. And inhaling, back to center. One more breath in warrior two. On your exhale, hands by the feet, spinning onto the back toes, stepping back to plank. And coming through your version of Chaturanga here, maybe full Chaturanga, or maybe coming down to the floor, inhaling into Upward Dog or Cobra. And exhaling, 
into downward facing dog. So taking another deep sigh out through the mouth here if that feels good. And taking a couple of breaths to reset. On your next inhale, finding a way to the top of your mat, maybe stepping, walking, or floating, bringing the feet together, hands to shins, halfway lift, spine is long. Exhale, release to forward fold. Inhale, rolling up, rising up, arms come overhead, and palms together. So when you're coming through your vinyasa in these mid-level classes, um, feel free to take any option with your lowering down to the ground, so knees down, lowering down from full plank, or if chaturanga is in your practice, feel free to take that. So lots of different options on the table and certainly no, no right or wrong, so whatever your body's feeling. Coming through one more time, inhale, reaching tall. Exhale, down into forward fold. Inhaling to halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, bringing the hands by the feet, stepping back into plank. So option to come through any way that feels good. Maybe lowering all the way, maybe halfway. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. And exhale, finding your way back into downward facing dog. On your next inhale, bringing the right foot forward in between your hands, grounding the back foot. And then rising up into your warrior two, reaching out with the fingers. Flipping the front palm, reversing, coming into reverse warrior, reaching high. Exhale, coming into extended side angle. Maybe the elbow comes to the thigh, or maybe the hand to the floor if that's feeling good today. See how open your shoulders and chest are feeling, either reaching overhead or up to the sky if that's better. And then bringing hands down either side of the foot, spinning onto the back toes and stepping back into plank, coming through your version of Chaturanga, knees up, knees down, maybe halfway. Inhaling upward dog, or cobra, shoulders rolling down the back, and exhale, into downward facing dog, option to take that big sigh out through the mouth, <sighs> on your next inhale, bringing the left foot forward in between your hands, grounding down that right foot, and rising up into warrior two. Coming through your dancing warrior, inhale, front palm comes up to the sky, coming into reverse warrior, reaching tall. Exhale, taking your variation side angle, so maybe the elbow comes to the thigh, or if it feels that there's space and openness in the shoulders, maybe coming in, hand to the ground. Either way, reaching with the fingertips, and then exhale, hands either side of the foot, spinning onto the back toes and coming through Chaturanga one more time. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. And exhale, finding your way back into downward facing dog, taking a deep sigh through the mouth. <sighs> Taking one more breath here, grounding down through the fingers, seeing if you can allow the neck to be really heavy, to be soft. And then finding your way to the top of the mat, maybe walking the feet up, maybe stepping or maybe floating. Coming into halfway lift at the top of the mat. Exhaling, releasing to forward fold. And inhale, rising up. Reaching tall, hands come to prayer in front of the heart. Okay. 
So option to play in a little balance to finish off with our standing poses. If you're feeling like you wanna take this moment to chill and to rest, then absolutely go for it. So bringing the feet to hips width apart, if you'd like to take the balance. And as you inhale, rising up onto the tiptoes, finding something to focus on to help keep your balance. And I'm getting a feeling for which bits of the body start working here in this tiptoe balance. And lowering down to the ground. If you want to try that again, option to come through one more time. So inhale, coming up onto the tiptoes. And maybe you choose to stay here for a few breaths and then lower the heels, or maybe you'd like to try coming all the way down or part way down in a squat. So keeping the heels lifted and lowering the hips as slowly as you can. So it may be that you come part way, maybe you have a little wobble. If the knees are feeling uncomfortable, then stop at any time. Maybe you come down all the way and stay in the squat. So if you stayed standing here, feel free to find your way down to join us in a squatting position. And you're welcome to bring the hands in front for balance. That can be quite nice to have a little shake on the hips from side to side. Or you can have a go at balancing on the toes if you want. And maybe while you're balancing on the toes, if you like to, reaching up with the arms, reaching up with the fingertips. One more breath here. Bring in the hands to prayer as you exhale. And then hands behind the body. Lowering down, maybe giving the ankles and the feet a little, little release, a little shake. It's hard work doing those toe balances. And then sitting up tall in this position, feel free to pop a cushion underneath the hips if you can sense your spine's rounding or if it feels uncomfortable. And you can also take a little bend in the knees if that's better. Drawing the right knee into the chest and then opening the right knee out to the side. So the right foot comes against the left thigh. And again, if that's still not feeling super comfortable in this position, feel free to sit on a, on a cushion here. And you may want to grab your cushions anyway, to be honest, because this can be quite nice to have a few cushions in this pose. So you can absolutely sit on a, on a cushion. It just helps to bring the hips forward a little bit um, and takes any pressure off the lower back. Otherwise, Turning just slightly to be facing the left leg, reaching up as you inhale with the arms. And then exhale, coming forward any amount. So maybe you stay fairly upright here, maybe you've got a nice opening in the hips and the lower back already. If you have got pillows and cushions, you can create a nice little stack, nice little cozy stack. And exhale, coming forward, maybe you get to have a little, a little rest on the cushions. So no pressure to come forward too far, leading with the chest if you can, rather than leading with the head and kind of bringing the head down, rounding the spine. So seeing where it feels good for your body, without judgment, without feeling it needs to be anywhere in particular. And maybe closing the eyes for a couple of breaths if this feels good. On your next inhale, walking the hands back in if they came forward. Removing any props, bringing the hand behind the body. And then carefully bringing that right leg up, out to the side, a little shake of the legs, maybe a little rock side to side. And when you're ready, drawing the left knee in and opening out on this side. So bringing the left foot to the right thigh. 
And again, it might feel good to, to sit on something here. You might want to create a nice little cozy stack. Inhale, reaching up with the arms. And exhale, option to come forward if that's feeling good today. No pressure if it's not, feel free to stay tall in this position. And maybe you come down onto your nice little cozy stack of pillows or cushions. If you're feeling particularly open today, maybe head comes to knee, maybe taking a bind around the feet. And then breathing into any tight areas. Being really mindful here, particularly with the hamstring with the back of the legs, not to overstretch, not to force. So this is about coming down just as far as feels comfortable to where you begin to feel a stretch. So nothing too intense, definitely um, nothing painful. So if there's any anything that feels um, really uncomfortable, then, then backing out a little bit and finding a place that feels okay. All right, breathing in, a few deep breaths here. So if you're particularly tight in the lower back or in the sideways, you might notice that the left side of the, of the waist or of the lower back also gets a nice little opening and stretch here. So um, yeah, it's kind of a nice, a nice two for one, back of the legs and into the lower back, um, hips and sideways. So um, yeah, breathing into any areas that feel like they need it, taking one more breath. And on your next inhale, rising up, moving any props out of the way, drawing that left leg back in and taking a nice little shape of the legs. And whenever you're ready, come into about halfway up the mat and lowering down onto your back, drawing both knees into the chest Maybe closing the eyes, maybe hugging around the knees, taking a little rock from side to side. And then bringing the feet to the floor, option to take a couple of sort of windscreen wiper openings here. So allowing the knees to really gently rock from side to side, seeing if you can make it so it's sort of one movement with one breath. So really nice, slow movement. And the next time that you come over to the right, maybe allowing the legs to stay there, you're welcome to pop a couple of cushions underneath if that feels like, um, like a really big opening and then bringing the left hand, the left arm out to the side, gazing over the left arm, coming into a little spinal twist, opening up through the spine. So if anything's not feeling good, feel free to pop your cushions or pillows, maybe underneath the right um, leg, if that feels good to lift it up a little bit. And then taking a moment for your body to experience this opening of the spine. Really, really good for the body. And seeing if you can send your breath deep into the side of the body that's been working really hard today. Seeing if you can get your breath to expand to the side and to the back of the body. On your next inhale, allowing the head to come to center. Maybe that left arm comes down by the side and then guiding the legs back up to center, bringing them over to the left, taking the twist on this side, right arm opens up, gaze over the right hand. And maybe the eyes close, finding a comfy place in this 
spinal twist on this side. What does it feel like on this side? What feels open in the body? Is there any way that you can help things feel more spacious? Couple of breaths here. And whenever you're on your next inhale, slowly drawing the head back to centre, maybe the right arm comes down by the side of the body and guiding the legs back up. Feel free to draw the knees into the chest again, taking a couple of last rocks. And then coming to finish in our glorious Shavasana, getting really cosy. So maybe the legs and arms open up fully. <sighs> maybe supporting yourself with some pillows or cushions or blankets. Maybe you've got a favorite position you wanna be in. Finding yourself into the most open and comfortable position you can imagine. And allowing the breath to fill the whole body as you inhale deeply down. Maybe a deep exhale out through the mouth. <sighs> Noticing the body supported by the floor, by the mat. Letting yourself completely go in this resting pose, taking the time to let the body relax here. Imagining your body melting down into the ground. Letting go of any tightness of anything that's still hanging on in the body. And take in a few moments of stillness, of quietness in this pose. And if you're able to stay here for a few minutes longer, then absolutely go for it. It's so good for the body to be in this restful phase at the end of yoga. And whenever it is that you decide that you're ready to move on, taking real care to come up slowly, being really mindful 
waking up the body slowly. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed the class. And I look forward to future classes together. Namaste.